Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble! Alright, now for the final match. We have Damian and Carol and Michael is setting up the match here as the ring judge, the referee. So round one starts, let's see how it goes. Damien and Carol are friends as well, well they all know each other here, but uh, I know that Damien and Carol have been training together, so I would think they know each other pretty well. Again, these two, what I like to see this, I like to see this because they, they are more comfortable going in on the closer range. There's more of an exchange of blows and combinations there. But you can tell Damien has a more proper boxing skill where he keeps his eyes on his opponent. Kyle, on the other hand, moves his eyes away and doesn't have such a neat technique. So I would say that the odds on this one are in Damien's favor, being the more experienced and technical fighter. Yeah, a couple of good punches there. Yeah, Carol does go forward. He's a tough guy. He likes going forward. He's not afraid of getting in there. But the technical superiority here makes Damien the most likely winner. Yeah, you can see how Damien is very comfortable. He he's more relaxed. If you look closely, you will notice all the differences technically. Good block there by Damien. Good defense. Moving in his head around, trying to make himself a difficult target. There, we, there's a couple of punches going in. Yeah, Damien has landed a few punches in the head already. I'll give this round to Damien. It's just experience. Experience makes all the difference in the world. He did land a good jab there, but he does not turn his body when using the rear hand, so that hand does not reach its target. Damien on the other hand has a more square stance, a good punch there, which allows him to connect with both hands more comfortably. Good punch there. Yeah. Carol has thrown a lot of punches, but Damien has more precision, so he throws less punches, but they actually land more cleanly. Let's go for round two. I'll give the first round to Damien, because he was more neat, and you can see the punches land better. Again, if I get some, some of these decisions wrong, it's because I'm watching this on a video where the judges are actually standing there. We see different things. Good, good flurry of punches there. So the way you measure these points are by punches that connect cleanly. If you hit the guard, that's not a point. You want to hit the body, hit the head. That is a, an actual point. Yes, Damien again, he's more loose, he's more relaxed. But Cuddle keeps throwing. Using a lot of the lead hand. When they get in closer, Damien has the advantage. Well, I don't know why it stopped here. Ah, the helmet, the headgear moved around. They're all wearing headgear, gloves, and mouthpieces, of course. Good, good. Yeah, Carol, he, he, it's, it's something that must be commended. He does go forward, even though he's not as technically 
polished as the other fighters. But you can tell how relaxed Damien is. There we go, he's looking for the counter. He did land a punch there. Good, there we go. That was a good jab to the body. Okay, I would give this one to Damien. If they go to an another round, which might happen, but I would, I would just give this one to Damien again. If they go to another round, it's because the judges, they see things differently when they're there in person than when you see it in through a video. It's a nice to see them getting close and exchange those like that. That's what I like to see in a boxing match. Not always trying to go from the distance, but more getting in close and throw combinations and get nice and gritty in there in the, in the close range. Especially for smaller guys, you know. Also, oh, there's a final round. I would have given this already to Damien, but let's see. Okay, that was a good start for Karol throwing the longer, the long lead hand. Again, I can see that Karol has more reach than Damien, but the the proper form, the better technique is on Damien's side. If he gets in close and throws combinations and avoids the punches. Okay, this was unexpected. He got cornered, at, but he recovered pretty well. That was good. You can tell that Damien having a more square stance. He can throw combinations more comfortably. Both of them landed a few good punches there. So this is again going to be... If I go alone by this round, it's going to be close. I would have thought that Damien won this match, but if we go through this round alone, this round is actually pretty close between the two of them. Let's see what the judges say. So there's a lot of these movements are not actual punches. They do get entangled in a lot. So that's why it's hard to judge this. By unanimous decision, and it's Damien. Good job. Okay, yeah. I would have given it to Damien in the first round anyway. Good job.